So I'm going to start making videos again. It's been a few months since I made any. Uh, I've been mostly focused on a documentary that I wrote and directed about the pharmaceutical industry. And aside from that, I've just been feeling a little bit blocked from speaking, using my voice to make videos, but I'm trying to get over that, you know. So uh, I would love to keep making videos, and I'm going to do that. I just had to take a break for a minute and not speak on camera, you know. So, I, I hope you remember what I said several months ago that the dominant theme in this era is Jupiter opposition Uranus. Jupiter opposition Uranus is, of course, the most important aspect of the year. It now peaked for the first time. Jupiter is two degrees off Uranus. And now Jupiter is going to start retrograding backwards, and it's going to peak again, opposing Uranus. It's going to go slightly further back and then cross for its third peak. And that's making the, the energy active, thinker energy. The energy about talking and thinking and learning and doing things. It's a very active energy. But right now, we have a momentary slowness in the energy because Mars is in Pisces, square Saturn. So today, which is of course uh, January 17th, well today is slower and the next few days will be slower because... We've got Mars square Saturn, and of course Mercury slowly leaving retrograde in Capricorn, which is, this is going to be the slowest week in a while. But as you can probably tell, the last several weeks before this have been much more high energy, especially at the turn of the new year. On December 26th, Jupiter opposition Uranus peaked for the first time, and it's been solid higher energy since then. You see the stark contrast between this era and the era of Saturn square Neptune, the coldness and depression of 2016 already, right? So, we're going to have Mars square Saturn adding some coldness and watery, hazy energy to the air. We're going to have Venus square Saturn, I think this week too. So we're going to have a little bit of silence, a little bit of calm relative to the argumentative, active thinking energy we had about two weeks ago. But the active energy, it's, it's, it's going to continue. So after this, in February, we're going to have a really active thinking, debating, arguing too, but still a very active month in February when the sun will be in Aquarius Mars and Venus will both be in Aries, and Jupiter opposition Uranus will still be stuck. So we're in a much more active, thinking, learning type of non-depressed place right now. And it's not as volatile as some suspected Jupiter opposition Uranus would have been, because Saturn is trine Uranus and Jupiter's sextile Saturn. So there's a groundedness to the high energy active thinking doing things type of energy that's here it's a groundedness with the saturn there so that's basically how it is there's some watery hazy type of energy in the air with the pisces venus and pisces there's some deep heart in the air the people that have a lot of heart and a lot of compassion for people are feeling it right now the people who have water and compassion and emotions are strong right now because anytime you have mars in a water sign all the empathic people all the people with a lot of heart and feelings get energy so that's the nature of mars venus two planets in a water sign the people with heart and feelings and emotion are strong right now. So there's strong emotions in the air. There's strong heart in the air. There's strong revolutionary type of energy in the air. In three days, when the sun conjoins the blue star Altair on the cusp of Aquarius and Capricorn, <coughs> we'll feel a wave of revolutionary type of energy. And revolutionary thinking, active on energy is going to be the theme of the entire next year not only with jupiter opposition uranus the sign of or the planet of aquarius uranus but it's going to be like that for the whole next year and a half because the nodes are entering leo and aquarius so the the lessons of this year and a half have been about health and spirituality virgo and pisces and now they're about to be about creation Leo 
and ideas and thinking and learning, Aquarius. Leo is heart. It's the sun. It's about crafts and creation and ambition, personal ambition for success. And then Aquarius is a collective ambition to better the world, thinking, learning, technology, all that type of stuff. So those two themes of Leo and Aquarius will fill the air for the next year and a half as the north and south nodes enter Aquarius and Leo. So it's about to be a fire air type of year and a half. So that's basically what's going on. There's a lot of heart in the air right now with Venus and Mars and Pisces. It's the time to feel emotions. So go ahead and feel emotions and feel life and hug your people and feel things right now. Because after this two weeks in February, it's about to become lit on fire. And the heart won't be in the air so much, but the fire will be more in the air in February. With Venus and Mars and Aries and the Sun and Aquarius. And there's going to be an eclipse around exactly about a month from now. An eclipse in Aquarius and Leo that will foreshadow the entire next year and a half of revolutionary type energy. So that's what's going on. If you appreciate this, then message the page Trip to Mean Astrology Readings to book an astrology reading. You can get a video just like this for $30 and you can pay after you receive the reading because I've admittedly been late on too many people's readings. So you can pay for the reading after you receive it. And uh, I could really use the support. So, much love. Peace.